Good morning and welcome to the benefits of Chew Valley East and to morning prayer for Sunday the 19th of June 2022. This is the first Sunday after Trinity. If you wish to join in the service, then the words in bold are to be said together. Join in the Psalms and Canticles if you can. Um, we'll say them all together. And you can download the, the service sheet from the lakesidegroup.org website. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake, refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 22, verses 19 to 28. Be not far from me, O Lord. You are my strength. Hasten to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword my poor life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, from the horns of wild oxen. You have answered me. I will tell of your name to my people. In the midst of the congregation will I praise you. Praise the Lord, you that fear him. O seed of Jacob, glorify him. Stand in awe of him, O seed of Israel. For he has not despised nor abhorred the suffering of the poor, Neither has he hidden his face from them, but when they cried to him, he heard them. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. I will perform my vows in the presence of those that fear you. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek the Lord shall praise him. Their hearts shall live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall bow before him. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he rules over the nations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 65, verses 1 to 9. The word of the Lord through the prophet. I was ready to be sought out by those who did not ask, to be found by those who did not seek me. I said, Here I am, here I am, to a nation that did not call my name. I held out my hands all day long to a rebellious people who walk in a way that is not good, following their own devices, a people who provoke me to my face continually sacrificing in gardens and offering incense on bricks, who sit inside tombs and spend the night in secret places, who eat swine's flesh with broth of abominable things in their vessels, who say, keep to yourself, do not come near me, for I am too holy for you. These are a smoke in my nostrils, a fire that burns all day long. See, it is written before me, I will not keep silent, but I will repay. I will indeed repay into their laps their iniquities and their ancestors' iniquities together, says the Lord, because they offered incense on the mountains and reviled me on the hills. I will measure into their laps full payment for their actions. Thus says the Lord, as the wine is found in the cluster, and they say, Do not destroy it, for there is a blessing in it. 
So I will do for my servant's sake and not destroy them all. I will bring forth descendants from Jacob and from Judah inheritors of my mountains. My chosen shall inherit it and my servants shall settle there. An Old Testament canticle from 1 Chronicles chapter 29. Splendour and majesty are yours, O God. You are exalted as head over all. Blessed are you, God of Israel, for ever and ever. For yours is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendour and the majesty. Everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord. And you are exalted as head over all. Riches and honour come from you and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might. Yours it is to give power and strength to all. And now we give you thanks, O God, and praise your glorious name. For all things come from you, and of your own have we given you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Splendour and majesty are yours, O God. You are exalted as head over all. Second reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 8, verses 26 to 39. Jesus and his disciples arrived at the country of the Gerasenes, which is opposite Galilee. As he stepped out on land, a man of the city who, who had demons met him. For a long time he had worn no clothes, and he did not live in a house but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he fell down before him and shouted at the top of his voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me. For Jesus had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For many times it had seized him. He was kept under guard and bound with chains and shackles, but he would break the bonds and be driven by the demon into the wilds. Jesus then asked him, What is your name? He said, Legion, for many demons had entered him. They begged him not to order them to go back into the abyss. Now there on the hillside, a large herd of swine was feeding, and the demons begged Jesus to let them enter these. So he gave them permission. Then the demons came out of the man and entered the swine, and the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and was drowned. When the swine herds saw what had happened, they ran off and told it in the city and in the country. Then people came out to see what had happened, and when they came to Jesus... They found the man from whom the demons had gone, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. Those who had seen it told them how the one who had been possessed by demons had been healed. Then all the people of the surrounding country of the Gerasenes asked Jesus to leave them, for they were seized with great fear. So he got into the boat and returned The man from whom the demons had gone begged that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. So he went away, proclaiming throughout the city how much Jesus had done for him. A responsory from Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 3. Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you light. You have died, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on the earth, and Christ shall give you light. When Christ our life appears, you will appear with him in glory. Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you light. Our Gospel Canticle, the Benedictus. 
You have raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of your servant David. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all the taters, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, should be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You have raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of your servant David. Our prayers for home and the world, our intercessions. To the words, let us pray to the Lord. Please respond, Lord, have mercy. In the power of the Spirit, and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the Holy Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Michael, Bishop-elect for Bath and Wells, and Ruth, Bishop of Taunton, for the leaders of our sister churches, in our deanery, and for all clergy and people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Elizabeth, our Queen, for the leaders of the nations and for all in authority, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this community, for every city, town and village, and for all the people who live within them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For good weather and for abundant harvests for all to share, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, air or water, for the sick and the suffering, for prisoners and captives, and for their safety, health and salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, strife and need, and for the absolution of our sins and offences, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remembering all who have gone before us in faith and in communion with all the saints, we commit ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our Lord. Amen. God of truth, Help us to keep your law of love and to walk in ways of wisdom, that we may find true life in Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>